stream. Oh. It's like it's in the in the in the uh-huh. This is exciting. Now that's a healthy stream. Is this thing on? Always the question when you start these things. Do we have signal health? Is my zipper Do we have takeoff? <laughs> you're sitting, so you're good. Do you okay. have a problem yeah. with your stream, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, we're just waiting to make sure everything works until we start playing songs. People are there. Say yay. Yay. Yeah, totally. Yay. That's excellent. So people are there. Awesome. Um, how many people are there? This is our friend Sean McHugh, by the way, who's standing behind the computer, and his daughter Nina helping us do the uh, Moderation. technical stuff. <laughs> That's um, correct. It's my friend Dean Dinning Hi. from the band Toad the Wet Sprocket. Hi there. Uh, this is my friend Todd Nichols, also from the band Toad the Wet Sprocket. I'm Glenn Phillips from the band Toad the Wet Sprocket. Uh, and uh, we're just going to... We only got four people, oh, though. You need to wait for so everyone to show up. We're yeah. waiting for people to show up. We're going to wait for Can people to show up. Uh, yeah, if it looks like everything's operational there, I'd close it out. So if any of the people who are here right now has a question they want to start with before we play a song, we would love to hear it. All right. It populates fairly quickly. Okay. Okay. All right, okay. well. I told you we should have waited. No two questions minutes. yet? No, that's no, cool. Yeah, that's I'll just good. hang out here. No just highs. Just highs. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Tell us a thing. So we're here, I guess, rather than waiting for McHugh from you. Uh, mm. Our album came out today. Uh, mm. Starting now. It's actually uh, in the world and available, and uh, we're excited about that. And in five, four days? When's our first show? The second. Uh, the second. That would be Thursday. Uh, we're going to be actually on tour, playing at the Belly Up, and I think we got almost 40 shows. Uh, so for the next two months, we're going to be uh, hopefully touring and touring and touring and playing a ton of shows. Uh, and our moderator is looking at the screen with concern in his eyes. Well, that's okay. Maybe they're watching, but not in the chat. Well, that sounds good. We'll just start going in. All right. 28. I need a little bit of hope. One ray of light. Need just enough peace to make it through the night. I won't leave all I know. Get my name. I want a wisdom deep enough to stand through the constant change. So where is I've come?
Oh, hey, thanks. <laughs> Dean for the harmony win. Cool. I would also say if people do want to ask questions or something, if you're watching on Facebook, because uh, I think most people are probably watching Embedded on Facebook, if you watch on YouTube, you can comment there, and then they will see your comments. We can't actually see your comments on Facebook here. So there you go. Uh, so, hi. That was, that was Hold On. Yeah. That's from our new album. Um, yeah. Question. Anyone have a question? <laughs> Is there? No, Thank questions. you, Nick. <laughs> Do you come over to Germany? He's, He's in, in Germany, Germany watching. It's 3 a.m. 3 a.m. We'd like to come over to Germany. Uh, we haven't come to Germany in a very, very, very long time because, frankly, we need more of you. Uh, but uh, we would love to come to Germany. Uh, and that is the truth. <laughs> it's my favorite German band right there. The old Scorpions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you play it again? <laughs> yeah, well, but you're here now, hey. and we're happy to have you here now. And uh, these things get archived, so if you missed the beginning, you can go back and, and see the first song. Um, I have never had the start of a live stream that was just like hit the ground running and everything happens, because everybody's got to figure out their little deal at home, and there's usually a technical issue somewhere. Yeah, so, I mean, you're streaming it to the uh, Apple TV or something like that, and you, then you don't get the sound, and you realize that it's muted, and it's, there's so many things that can go wrong. So many. It's a technical nightmare. Yeah. Should Life. We Life, Life is a technical, is a technical nightmare. nightmare. Should we start uh, starting now? Sure. Excuse me. It actually is tea. Lots of throat coat in the house today. It's that smoky air. Oh, you're right, you're right, four. I'm wrong, you're right. There we go. Wasted years Won't waste another instant Fed my feet Starting now Starting now well, All I hold Is borrowed from my children I'll leave this world More bright than when I came
starting now Starting Clapping from the peanut gallery. Oh, yeah. Do we have questions? We got a few. We have questions. Uh, Randy. Randy uh, is no longer in the band. He stopped touring with us three, four years ago, and uh, he's in San Diego and doing well. And yeah, that was somebody asked where Randy. Was. Where Randy you know, was the original the drummer for the band. Sorry, needs to be an <laughs> inclusive answer. So. Um, but basically, uh, Randy's doing well. He wasn't physically able to uh, be on tour anymore. And so, um, yeah, that's, that's about the size of it. But, uh, but we talk to him all the time, and he's doing great. Yeah, and so Josh Dobbin uh, has been our drummer for the last, uh, last time since then. And he's on tour with us now, and he was the drummer on the new album as well. So there you go. Dean, someone says your outfit is great. <laughs> oh, wow, that's awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> He's the well-dressed member of the band. Any other questions there? Or are they all gone? Uh, when will it? the new album be available on vinyl? When will the new album be? That's the other big question. Everybody asks for vinyl. Vinyl, uh, we unfortunately got a couple months behind, uh, and vinyl takes six months to order now uh, because basically people stopped making stuff for vinyl uh, because nobody wanted vinyl, and then everybody wanted vinyl, and now there aren't enough factories literally in the world to make all the vinyl that people want. So uh, six months. So it'll show up in February, but we encourage you to listen to it in other formats until then. And uh, there you go. Every and intention then, of releasing it on vinyl. We understand how much you want to hear it on yes. vinyl. It's important. You can rekindle your love with the album via vinyl in February. So there you go. Uh, yeah. What should we play? What would you like to play, Ty? Uh, Fever. Fever. One of my favorites. Okay. This is, uh, yeah, this is, uh, last song on the record. Last song on the record, and this was, uh, from the, from the Santa Barbara Hills. Um, yeah. With a shrug of her shoulders The mountain came down Tore a path all the way to the water And through my sleeping town And the trails I wandered All erased in the birth Of the million year old rock From the naked gas my children, where you gonna go? Now you lost the land you called your home. When the earth is burning, fever on her brow, crying, Oh, my children, who will save you now? Now the winter's in harder The summers are fire And the rains are the tears of a mother A rebellious, reckless child But still the spring brings clover With the blackened oaks Sprays and fledgling branches And the wild 
my children where you gonna go now you lost the land you called your home when the earth is burning fever on her brow crying oh my children who will save Family of the Holocene Farewell the fragile air To see the land Five times before She's seen the rise and fall again Never by their own hand Never by their own my children Chaos was my lover, but fate is my bride. We will meet at the edge of the ocean and the ever rising tide. Oh, my children, where you gonna go? Now you lost the land you called your. I want to dedicate that to Heidi and Doug in Placerville, uh, who are breathing a lot of smoke and whose house is luckily not burned down. Um, so anybody out there in the smoke and the fire right now, uh, with you. We got. Uh, how long did it take to write Hold On? It took forever to write Hold On. It was originally called Books, Books in, in Jail. Jail. Yeah, it was a title that I got from Matt the Electrician. And it was kind of about, uh, you know, punishing, uh, punishing styles of immigration policy, family separation, things that are designed to intimidate and hurt as opposed to actually just be good policy. Uh, and then COVID came along and it felt like that wasn't the sub, like, and then Floyd happened, like everything kept happening over and over. And so, and I, I became... And it actually became a better song as it became less directly topical because it's just about, I mean, that's the thing. If you write a song about like one specific event, it's only about that event. And if you write about resilience, then it works for a lot of events, even if it's, if it's you know, referencing some specifics. Like there's something about leaving something open where it becomes about the, the meta subject instead of the specific plot line. And so, and, and you know, as you all may have noticed the last, couple of years have given us infinite plot lines from which to um, <laughs> find a need to develop some sort of resilience. So uh, it took a long time to just try to get the language to where it felt like it would keep working, uh, you know, once the zombie apocalypse happened and the aliens came and everything like, you know, went completely out. So uh, hmm. yeah, you got one? What does the squirrel Too bad we already played, hold on. I know, we did. <laughs> Oh, there's two squirrel mugs, actually. There's one over there. Mm. Dean's, Dean's, uh, Dean is, these were given to me by, by squirrel fans. This is, I, I don't have a short attention span. I just, oh, look, a squirrel. 
Thank you for that mug. I like that. And is the other one, is it right Squirrel here. Power or is it? Squirrel Whisperer. And I am, I am with my other gift mug, which is Island Seed and Feed. There's a whole other story around that. There you go. Love you, Matt. Uh, so, yeah. What so the other question was, where do we get our inspiration from? And um, I was going to say, I get a lot of inspiration right now from um, this show called Rick and Morty. And that's about it. <laughs> it's mostly Rick. Have you tried Midnight Gospel? <laughs> no. Oh, watch Midnight Gospel and okay. report back to me. Anyway, uh, what do we get? You wanna all I want? Why don't we yeah, let's oldie. do all I want. Okay. An oldie and goodie. Nothing so loud. Oh, what? Oops. I forget how this one goes. Oh, we almost never play this one. It's weird. <laughs> I got it now. I remembered it. Okay. okay. Nothing so loud. Searing when we lie. Truth is not kind. You said neither am I. All good? Yeah, outside so song. Saying everything Everything All I want is to feel this way To be this close To be the same All I want is to feel this way Evening speaks To feel it say It turned it. It ended up sounding like a seventy, like a seventy sitcom theme. Yeah, like I know, I know. What what is it reminding me? Anybody of? out there uh, that produces a seventy sitcom, we've got the theme for you. We need placements. So yes, kind of sounds yeah. like The Office, don't they? Was it The Office? Maybe it was yeah. The Office. Meets the Waltons. The yeah, Office meets like, the like Waltons. The la, la, da, 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 uh -huh. that, that, yeah, I think that's what it that is. That's great. Thank you. Do we have the questions? First time I've ever done that. Can you play a little Waltons? Uh, I can play the Waltons. No new questions? No new questions. No new questions. Well, that's all right. Uh, COVID's right in the album. Mm. <laughs> now the office. I 
I go out to John Edmund, our tour manager, who's the world's biggest fan of The Office. Perfect. John, that one's for you. Uh, and I know you're not watching, so. Yes. How is writing the album different? I would say the recording of the album is was really different on this. Uh, the, the making of this album, we, I think in February, was it, of 2020, we got in and we did like two days of drum tracking. And then... For the most part, I recorded all my parts at home. Todd recorded most of his parts in Mammoth, right? Partly in Santa Barbara and Mammoth. All yeah. by myself, in my studio. Yeah. So he'd go fishing in the morning, come back, play guitar in the afternoon. I did it in, uh, was in a different house then, but I recorded all the vocals. My guitar's at home. Dean, were you I at did home all or? my instrumentals at home, and I did all my vocals with Michael in the studio. In the studio. Yeah. And then Michael mixed it. We sent, so it was, basically, this record comes to you uh, courtesy of Dropbox. <laughs> uh, we did, like, a ton of file sharing, and we're all three, our producers on, uh, on Pro Tools, we're all on Logic, and so we would just be Sending, sending files stems. and stems as yes. we went and then sending stuff into him and double checking that he had all the tracks and then uh, I think nothing's missing on the final version. No, I'm, I'm positive that nothing is missing. So it was, it was a very covid record, but it, gave, it definitely gave us something to do uh, during, during the long 2020. And, you Although know, I this... played my uh, Hold On guitar part to when it was Books in Jail. Back to the old lyric. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kept rewriting over and over. For us, this was the most pr uh, productive pandemic ever. Mm -hmm. And I think I changed, I changed more lyrics. I, I was trying to see where I was doing my own, you know, siloing into my own like liberal thought bubble and uh, tried to make things as broad as I could. Real, like tried to look at things like where I thought I was speaking from what I think is like my base morality or when I was finger wagging or when I was you know, and, and really uh, went in over and over to try to uh, challenge myself to, to kind of take, you know, those parts of it out or make things broader or make things, uh, it, it was such a sticky year for language. So even, you know, uh, lines that I didn't think of, like fighting for the lost cause. And then I'm like, oh, lost cause is kind of weird because stuff, because white supremacy. So I'm going to take that out. Uh, and, and, and just, you know, like, Trying to really look at the language and try to have it speak to as many people as possible without actually losing what I thought was like the heart of anything. So there was a lot of that because it was, I mean, once again, uh, the rhetoric got so extreme during the year that I had to examine uh, a lot of times when I was being part of that instead of uh, helping. So, uh, yeah, so there's that. So, uh, what should we do next? Uh, we set up for something like uh, another old one, Fall Down. Yeah. That was a great, that felt almost, I was like, hey, like, it felt like we planned it. Yeah. We didn't actually plan it, but it felt, it felt rehearsed. Uh, she said, I'm fine, I'm okay, cover up the chimney. Time. 
haven't played that in two years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, more questions. More, que- we more questions. <laughs> All right. here. Nina has more questions. What do we got? Uh, Dean's avocado is my favorite. Mm. <laughs> right on. Yeah, mm. you know. That's I, not a question. I haven't, uh, I haven't brought this baby out on the road yet, but I'm seriously considering it. It's a professional avocado. It's, it's not... a totally professional <laughs> avocado. But it sounds really good. That's why I bought it. It does. Yeah. Here's a good one. Mm. How is it working with Michael McDonald? What's the story behind, behind working with him? Uh, the story behind working with Michael McDonald. Well, basically, we had the next song we're going to play, and uh, Dean, I, I had this, this harmony part on it, and Dean noted that it sounded exactly like a Michael McDonald harmony part, because it's always, he never sings a straight harmony, it's like always the counter melody That's when he's right. doing a guest vocal, almost always the counter melody. Come on, be there, up and such a long way to go. Make it to the bottom. Make it. Is that exactly. Uh, he's, got his own, he's got his own yeah. space. That's where his voice mm-hmm. functions the best. Yeah. So um, <laughs> this this vocal felt like it suited Michael McDonald, and you know we said it can't hurt to ask. And then like the next day or or, or a little while later, um, Glenn ran into his friend, my who friend. happened to be recording. Yeah, my friend Chris Polonis was producing Michael's record, and <laughs> That's weird. I'd met him in time, so I called Chris and asked if we could do it. It was the saddest thing about it was that it was another Dropbox ex- <laughs> Dropbox <laughs> experience. They were recording over at Hollister Ranch, and uh, so, uh, but at the end of their session, one day, all of a sudden, uh, Chris is like, "Hey, I got something for you," and all of a sudden, there it was, and it was just as good as we had hoped. Uh, so, we yeah. got a good version with uh, Dean on it, though. Mm-hmm. We, we can, do. We can you can hear it right point. now. <laughs> yeah. You're good. <laughs> yes. Okay. She don't dream about diamonds. Don't care about gold. All she wants is a share of heart from heart and soul. She's a light in the darkness. She's a rhyme of Ah. 
giving you the best of me. Joe Cocker faces on that song now. <laughs> but it's so fun. Somebody needs to. Somebody does. Someone's asking about uh, my guitar. Who made that? And uh, I made the guitar. I, I uh, made it just yesterday. I finished it yesterday. And it's the first time I've ever played a Jaguar with Toad. Sweet. I don't know if it's going to be played live, but... Uh, Maybe for the meet and greets where we do acoustic stuff, I'll bring it out because it looks so good. Mm -hmm. And I may steal it. How much your Jaguars weigh? Like, how much does that weigh? It's pretty light. It's a short scale Fender. Uh -huh. So, you know, it's just the neck's a lot shorter. It's easier to reach. I think my, mine's probably like 12 pounds. My, yeah. It's no, the heaviest like guitar on, on the planet. Yeah, it's, it's a boat so anchor. Awesome. Yeah. Love it. I gotta sell it to someone who doesn't have nerve damage. Uh, so, and when are we going on tour just as acoustic? You know, we've talked about that, and that might even be the best way to get us to go to Germany, because then less stuff to carry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, we would love to tour acoustic. We talked about it. At, at some point, we shall. Right now, we'll just be happy to tour at all. That so first right. thing, first things first, if we can actually get through this entire tour, uh, we are going to be the happiest people on earth. Uh, yes. Dean, pulling a 95% Michael McDonald. Yeah, it's hard not to when you see that's what I'm talking about. That part just, you know. What part? The, 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 the best of me. It sounds like Michael, it sounds like Michael McDonald, no matter how Let's you sing it. Let's hear it. it. <laughs> oh, You basically just sing like you've got hot french fries in your mouth. <laughs> but but in the best way possible. That's exactly how you do it for those of you at home that want to try. Hot french fries. God, I love this tone. Okay, sorry. Let's go. We don't want to make Michael angry. <laughs> no, no. Uh, it's one of the most recognizable voices in music history. Actually, I don't think he has anything to be angry He doesn't about. have anything to... Pack <laughs> it, come back to you. Yay. Just look at... If you don't know Michael McDonald, if you're one of those young people uh, who, who doesn't know Michael McDonald, just go to like All Music and look him up and see the complete discography, not only of all the Doobie Brothers and Solo, the incredible recent R, uh, the, like, R&B records, like... Oh. An amazing catalog of music on his own, and a great songwriter, and beyond that, uh, beyond that, more background vocals on more albums than just about anyone. Like, and of more massive hits than just about just, anyone in history. Just, yeah. It's kind of overwhelming. Um, just the greatest. We're so That's happy. All. How long does it take to practice and prepare for a tour? Thirty-five years. <laughs> Thirty-five years. Blood, sweat, and tears. That's how long it takes. Should we play a song? <laughs> How about uh, Nancy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This, this, is is for, this is for Nancy Griffith. Just passed away um, a few weeks ago. Well, I can't believe Bend your words like your eager spoon. So I'm not quite safe here. And every judgment seems to smack up to Are you okay? Well, I'm just fine. You take Nancy from me, Lord, and it's fine. Legal. Set us straight. No one's brought a suit. 
I'm assuming that if they did, one would still be Are you joking? Well, I'm just fine. If you take Nancy from me, Lord, let us find. Oh, I changed my Follow through and expect that you will follow soon. I can't believe you bend your words like your eager response. I'm not quite safe here when every judgment seems to smack up. Um, that was fun. That was fun. new Whoa. questions. <laughs> Whoa! It's like uh, a live cast. Another uh, guitar question, so I'll answer that. What amp is Todd playing through tonight? It's one of my most expensive amps. <laughs> it's a uh, a little Black Star. Love those amps. I think they're like fifty bucks. And uh, the tone is in know. the fingers, friends. <laughs> the tone is in the fingers. <laughs> Clearly, it's not the amp. But it is the amp at the same time. It's, it's good. The amp's not getting in the way. It's mm -hmm. helping. It's very good. Yes. Did Jonathan play on the album? Jonathan played a little bit on the album. Jonathan did some keyboards for us. Dean also plays keyboards, and we're at home, and we ended up filling a lot of tracks before we could get them to him. So I made sure we sent a few to him before we filled everything up. But John did play on the album, but not the whole album. Uh... Who did the strings on Fever? The strings on Fever uh, were arranged by Eric Gorfian of uh, the section from Los Angeles. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's, look him up. He's uh, an amazing arranger uh, and great concert master, all of it. Um, what is each? What is each band member's favorite song on the album? Todd, let's start with you. Well, I already said it was Fever. Oh yeah, that's right. You can have a second. Uh, starting now. Starting now. Okay. And for me, I gotta say best to me. That's my least favorite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really like Game Day because um, it's just very different for us and we've never had a song with that kind of feel before and, uh, and it has vocoder. Mm -hmm. It kind of pushes the envelope. I like to push the envelope. And I would say my favorite moment on the record is the end of Dual Citizen just because it goes into the, uh, the Recuerda siempre que eres amado. And I love that, I love that part. I've never had Spanish on record before. And it was nice. That's a cool part. I liked that. And somehow it always takes me back to dun 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 Oh, na well, not not La Isla Bonita. No, but but it's similar. Like, did, did you ever watch that? Da, 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 Via Alegre. It was, like it was a, on right the after Sesame Street, wasn't best it? Best yeah. kids' oh, TV yeah, yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. And anyway, so I was thinking that. <laughs> yep. Um, all right. What else? What should we do? Um, we have... Uh, Growing. What's that? Growing. Yeah, let's do that. I know that song. Or open? Is it two or is it open? I'm on two. Oh. Great. Two, three, whoop. One, two, three, whoop. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Two, three. Oh, that's why you're <laughs> Questions, do another song. Whales and Ocean. Whales and Ocean, that sounds great. Uh, let's see. Forget cowbell, cowbells, more avocado. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yes, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Less of a question, more of a statement. Yeah. <laughs> uh, We've had a lot of those. What's the story behind Dual Citizen? Dual Citizen was actually another one of the um, titles from Matt the Electrician. Uh, uh, every every week he gives out a phrase and you have to use it. It doesn't have to be the title of the song or the chorus, but uh, it has to appear, uh, there will be a phrase like dual citizen. At some point in the songs, the words dual and citizen have to appear in that order at some point once in the lyric. That's the only, uh, and so there's 18 songs somewhere in the world called dual citizen. Uh, That's a good gig. What? Just writing uh, the title and tell everyone else to write the song. <laughs> oh, that's great. Matt writes it too, though. Matt writes it too. But um, so there's a bunch, a bunch of others. So uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I wrote it about that, and it was, it was, it was a lot of it was just about like kind of the the pull between um, peak experiences and then the kind of the peaceful life at home and the you know always going away, going, you know, having this really different life or going, you know, traveling, doing all these other things. And then like, just how nice it is to sit in one place for a while, which I didn't, hadn't really had a chance to do in about almost 20 years, I think since, since Freo was born, uh, to actually just be home this long ever. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was, it was a really different 
different thing to do. So that is the story behind Dual, Dual Citizen. Nice. Being home in many places. Biggest musical or lyrical risk on the album? What was the biggest musical risk, do you think? Um, Thank you. Gosh. That's hard to say. Um, Having two full step think, key changes? Yeah, we, have, we, we did two key changes on the same record. That was pretty cool. And they're both and just they, kind of drop in full steps. Yeah. But that was cool. I don't know if that's really a risk. Put both of those on there. <laughs> um, we don't no, do don't a lot either. of key changes, though. Historically, I don't know if we've had any. Except for Ransom. Walk on the Ocean, which we should play next. Walk on the Ocean messes musicians up because it's basically in two keys. Right. We were talking about it, Sean. What did we decide? It switch, modal. It's modal. It's <laughs> modal. So, because, like, we've had all these experiences of, like, you know, well-trained musicians coming on stage and playing playing Walk on the Ocean with us, and they look at the chords on the on the verse, and and they think they um, think they got it. They think they got it, and they think they know the key, and then it gets to the chorus, and they get this like really weird look on their face if they're supposed to be taking a solo. This happened with violin players. This happened like seems easy to me. <laughs> it's it's not. <laughs> Actually, I the violin was just it, hard. It makes sense musically, but it actually like switches modes because we were thinking because it's that chord, if you're, right? Because then it's the A, the major. I mean, it's a B, but the A shape and the C. So it's like a four of the four, because otherwise it would. Be, anyway, it doesn't make sense. Uh, it, it does, but it doesn't, which is why people keep screwing it up. I've had so many experiences of people sitting in on that song and like looking at me in abject terror as soon as it got to the chorus because they couldn't <laughs> solo on it. That said, we spotted the ocean. Oh, did I, I mess you up? Do whales and oh, we can do whales and then do that. <laughs> Sorry, I just suddenly noticed your capo position. Well, these two, luckily these two songs go together. This is called Transient Whales. <laughs> which interestingly, I have so many songs from the songwriting game. Transient Rails is yet another song from the songwriting game. Uh, and I have actually a whole solo album I'm working on that is all songs from the songwriting game. The thing is, if you do one a week, you end up with, you know, 30 a year. So, and some of them are okay. So, <laughs> uh, anyway. I miss calling someplace home. I miss thinking I could know. Where I would spend my final days Plant a seed and watch it grow I don't like waking up alone I don't like cooking meals for one I miss the chaos and the noise Family work that's never done Now in dreams I swim with the transient waves All we have is each other And the songs we share The songs we share We never stand in still The earth is spinning around the sun the sun is swinging through the heavens Time is always pushing on But this body begs for comfort And it groans with every change Well, it hopes it will not suffer Praise and vain it will not age Now in dreams I swim with the transient waves All we have is each other And the songs we share The songs we share I love jokes that last for years and having people dropping by 
I liked being at the center of a place that felt alive. Now my home is in the ocean where my song can travel free, carried softly by the water to wherever you may be. Now in dreams I swim with the transient winds. All we have. Songs we share, songs we share. All we have is each other, and the songs we share, the songs we share. have to shake the whammy oh, the sustain. <laughs> and the, the sustain you could you could, you could take a bite and still be going that's so cool <laughs> that's my other favorite song on the album yeah i love your part on that one too so All right. All right. we've reached well, the end i guess we're at the end my, my daughter is running to get Tacos and burritos. <laughs> Anybody need a taco or burrito? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. But thank you. Yeah. To she? I'm sure. Yeah. It's, you guys? It's super cuckoo's. I mean, come on. Uh. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Um, I mean, can we keep going? Thank you, Internet World, for being here, oh, for doing yeah. these with us. Yeah, thank um, you. We really appreciate it. And, um, oh, hey, Sean, when it's done, you just press stop streaming. I can do that. Awesome. Uh, thank you guys for, for doing this with us. This is, uh, we're really excited to have a new album out. It's been uh, 2013, right? That's right. It was right. the last, yes. last time we put out a record, so it's been a long time. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your support, coming and seeing us uh, all these years, coming. Um, and uh, seeing us on the tour, we're about to go on, and uh, we're excited. We got a video for Hold On that's coming out. We just finished up a video for Transient Whales. Uh, we've got, uh, and so we're just, we're excited to have new music to share with you. It's so good to sing with these guys again and to go out. Like it's, uh, what did, Josh realized we played one show uh, last, uh, this month, and it was our first show in 551 days. days. Uh, God, that's rough. Yeah, <laughs> so um, we're we're excited to be out again and get to play for you, have new music. So um, yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting, uh, and we see you soon. We spotted the ocean head of the trail. Where are we going? So far away Somebody told me This is the place Where everything's better And everything's safe Walk on the ocean Step on the stone
so much uh thank you guys for coming over to my place and playing thank you for hosting us i am happy to be here and thank you uh annie for all your help sean nina for doing all our tech support here jump in the jump wave wave at the people for a second sean McHugh, nina McHugh. (laughs) thank you very much and uh yeah thank you guys for being here we will see you very soon you want to it's good going out music thank you (laughs) bye